Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host Phil from Undercage.com. So what we have today is Nokia 8, their flagship offering. There is an ongoing rumor about the later flagship Nokia 9. Um, it's not exactly out yet. I think it's going to come out very likely to what the rumors have it, but this still is their flagship. So let's start by the packaging. We have the familiar Nokia holding hands, shaking hands kind of icon right there. Um, it doesn't say connecting people, but you do get the implication. So Let's go ahead, open the packaging. It comes in two different variants. There is, well, there's more single and dual SIM, but uh, mainly there's a four gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage and six gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage. A lot of manufacturers are following that idea. HTC did it, uh, Lenovo has it. OnePlus, of course, is one of the founders of that idea. But anyway, here is the rest of the packaging. On the left-hand side, you have the charger and the cable. So this is obviously USB 3.1 Gen 1 uh, compatible with the USB Type-C port on the other side. It's a, it's a very thick cable. I think it's going to endure very well. Um, just like the previous Nokia cables did, I still have one of the cables from the Nokia Express Music. Uh, they, I don't know, it's been around a decade and I still use it. And here is the charger. A roundish charger. You can just pull it up. It's just one of the G-type plugs. And um, it supports 5 volts 2A, 9 volts 2A, or 12 volts 1.5 amps. So that is a uh, good Quick Charge 3.0 compatible charger included in the packaging. And the moving on to a little packet. Well, it's a packet. It's not exactly a packet. A little card with the SIM card tray removal pin right there. And it has a manual along with the pair of earphones that doesn't look too bad. It actually looks pretty nice. It's got a glossy, the in-ear earbuds and um, microphone and the button that says Nokia. That looks pretty nice. We're gonna skip that and to the phone. So here's the phone itself. It comes in four different colors and it's just one of the usual flagship attire. It's got a Snapdragon 835 octa-core processor. Um, the EFS 2.1 is one of the faster flash storage drives and it's got a QHD resolution. So here is what you see on the front. There is a 13 megapixels of a Zeiss Optics um, autofocus enabled front facing camera. You don't see that every day, an autofocus enabled front facing camera. The Galaxy S8 was one of the popular ones to have it. HTC 10 has it and there are a number of few, but this still is a rarity. There is the receiver and Nokia logo and 5.3 inches of a QHD AMOLED panel back key, home key, and multitasking key, which doubles as the fingerprint reader, the, the home button doubles as a fingerprint reader. The power key and the volume rocker is right there along with the earphone jack on top, uh, which certainly isn't my favorite position, but since a lot of phones are missing it, um, I think I should be glad of the existence of it. There is a SIM card tray that you can use it for two SIM cards or one SIM and one micro SD expansion, just like any other smartphones these days. Moving on to the bottom, we have the USB Type-C port, microphone, and speaker. And then to the back is what Nokia is very proud of. Nokia logo right there, and the Zeiss Optics enabled 13 megapixels camera, dual 13 megapixels camera. One is color, and one is monochrome with that color sensor enabled with the optical image stabilizer. There is a Zeiss logo right there, and the laser autofocus is emitted from there, and the dual tone LED flash, and that's pretty much it. While you're waiting for it to boot up, so you have a little classic Nokia tone right there, and it's booted up, it doesn't have a fancy 18 to 9 ratio screen, it sticks to the older 16 to 9 ratio, and here we have the boot up screen. There are a number of languages, and I'm going to skip very quickly through the setup processes. Okay, seems like we're done with the settings. Uh, let's take a closer look at that launcher. It's very stock Android. Uh, they really didn't add up anything on the app drawer right there. They don't have any pre-installed bloatware, aside from the little app called the support, but I think we can let that one go. Going into the settings, we have Android 7.1.1 with the latest security patch and they are ready to roll out the Android Oreo update. So by the time that you're watching it, the Oreo update should be on its way already. And the settings also look really stock and clean uh, with the little blue theme right there. And the screen looks pretty nice with the Gorilla Glass 5 covering the display. You can make it as bright as you want. And let's take a peek at that camera. Uh, Nokia allows you to choose between color, 
monochrome or twin lenses. So you can either use just color lens, monochrome lens, or combine the images from them together to make it brighter, sharper, or you know, have it more detail. And then there is a thing called the boothy. So just like any other phones, you can choose between the rear and the front camera, or you can combine them, split your screen in half, and see the rear side and the front side in the same time. Nokia tells you to share the both side of the story, so this is how it looks like, both side of the story. This isn't completely new though, some manufacturers included this as a plugin, and Nokia also points out that they included the Ozzo audio. So through the Ozzo technology, you can record the 3D spatial sound to your video, we'll have to see how it performs in real life. And running up all these features is 30, 90 milliamps of battery built in that you can top up with the Quick Charge 3.0. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with extensive weather protection. It only conforms to the IP54 standard. So that's merely a splash proof uh, protection. So you can't dunk it in water. So that was a quick look at unboxing on the Nokia's flagship Nokia 8. We'll have to see how it performs in real life, how what kind of photos it takes, how its audio performance is. We'll get back with a review very soon. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And I think it looks really nice at a first glance. I like it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.